Welcome back to the 39th Annual Tejano Music Awards. We're backstage seeing all the action and bringing it to you. And look who I ran into. You all know I'm a huge fan. It's none other than Tejano legend Leti Guvad. Leti, welcome. So sweet. You are so sweet all the time. I mean, I'm like, I'm like coming in here and ni me va a conocer nadie. And then this guy comes and makes a big deal out of me. I love it. Thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> well, you're here tonight presenting an award, right? So tell us a little yes. bit about that. Well, um, I had emailed um, the Tejano Award so that I could, you know, vote. And when they got my email, they emailed me back and they said, we would love for you to, to present this year. And I thought, yes. No, but uh, I was just really exciting to, to be invited. I mean, it's been exactly 20 years uh, that this is the last time uh, I performed in the Tejano Awards as a Tejano artist because I was invited some years ago to to come back and do one of my Christian songs so it's been awesome it's been really really awesome how does it make you feel whenever you uh, when when fans still request your music because you're out on social media your music is still out there for them to to download and buy um, how does it make you feel whenever people request songs like one of my favorites Ya Paso or uh, La Doce Rosa like how does that make you feel you know um, just today just uh, one of uh, uh, this this young young singer and she came up to me and she says please sing for me La Doce Rosa and I was like I don't know that I remember but I'll try and I me arranqué con La Doce Rosa and I mean it just feels so special there was a, a young guy in fact he's right there um, it, and he comes up to me and says I really really um, I was a big fan and and I'm just like I can't help but to want to give him a hug because he looks like he would have been five when I was out there. <laughs> So it's it's really exciting to just, just to know that people remember me and and that there was some way yang that I left behind, you know that that some, that people do remember. And uh, because I look back and I think, you know, I was like barely where people started recognizing me and knowing me. And uh, but I still get. I mean, I go to Walmart and still people are like, can you get? Can we get your autograph? And my kids are like, what? <laughs> So it's exciting, you know, it's exciting and at the same time humbling because I think, you know, only God knows where my career was going to change and and I'm so happy with my life today and so I would not change anything, but I miss my fans and I miss the people that I met. At the